All right, so the challenge is to integrate uh, x squared with respect to dx uh, without using uh, the power rule, or uh, that includes the reverse power rule, presumably, or any incarnation thereof. All right, so before, before I do that, um, actually, no, let's go right into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break that up into a product of x times x, and that's what we're integrating. And I'm going to set this up uh, by integration by parts. So uh, integration by parts over here, we've got uh, integral of u prime v uh, equals u times v minus the integral of u v prime. So I'm going to say that this u, this x here is u prime, and this x here is our v. All right. So if uh, if u prime equals x, what is uh, what's u going to be? Well. That's going to be the area under the y equals x curve, uh, which is easy to do without integration. Uh, you know, here's uh, our graph. That's y, that's x, and this is y equals x. And let's say this, that this is our, our x here. When x equals x, then y also equals x. So we have a triangle. Okay, and we know that that area is one half x squared. Okay, so that's that's going to be our integral. No power rule needed. One half x squared. Okay, and v we know is over here. Just bring that down. It's x. Okay, now we need v prime. Okay, so what is the slope of this graph uh, of y equals x? Well, that's just going to be x divided by x, which is 1. It's got a slope of 1. Okay, there we go. So far, no calculus. Uh, I'm going to get rid of all this business now here. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm just going to give this a name, and I'll call it capital I. And now let's transfer our information. Uh, this uh, basically is, well, that's capital I. And that equals u times v. So u times v. So that's 1 half x squared okay, times x minus the integral of u, which is a half x squared, uh, times v prime, which is just times 1. OK, so let's simplify this. I'm going to write the i again. i equals. Uh, one half of x cubed minus uh, that one we can disappear and we're going to bring this one half out. So we've got one half uh, x squared, uh, the integral thereof. And I'm skipping out the dx's. Uh, a little bit of uh, license here. Okay, now, so what is this integral of x squared? Oh, that's just i. So i equals one half x cubed minus one half of i. So that must mean that three halves of i equals one half x cubed. So we'll multiply everything here by two thirds and then bring it over here so you can follow my convoluted logic. Uh, we end up with uh, 2 thirds times 3 halves. That's just i. i equals 3 halves. Uh, sorry, 2 thirds times a half. Uh, that's going to be 1 third x cubed. And that deserves a nice little square. And Bob's your uncle.